Um, so what we've been working on is developing a violet robot to perform various functions. So Lottie over here has been working on the, um, the colour function where it senses um, a certain colour and reacts to it with a, in a certain way, perhaps lighting up a light or um, backing away from a certain colour. And I've been working on um, the robot detecting objects so we can avoid other robots and also avoid like desks, people and stuff like that. And we're hoping to combine both of the functions to create something else, I guess. We decided that we wanted to make like a Dance Dance Revolution style game. So we wanted to make a game that was wasn't kind of just controlling stuff with your hands. We wanted to do something that was a bit more active because we felt like that would be something that not a lot of people were doing. So this in this game we have the different pads and what you do is you step on them and you have to be barefoot and you've got a little bracelet which you have to touch and that way it conducts um, all the movement and stuff and so the and it's connected to the computer so it picks up on what you're doing and that way it can record if you're hitting the steps or not. So I'm Luke Van Marnen, um, Deputy Head of Science. Um, so I've been running the Ruve Goldberg machine uh, for Year 8 STEM Week. So the girls have been given uh, five tasks and in that they had to um, basically create a complex machine to solve a very simple problem. So over the last three days we've been doing a STEAM project. My group's challenge was to create a moving laser cut toy. So we started by looking at mechanisms and other laser cut toys to find inspiration and then we sketched and drew designs and then we made prototypes to see if they'd work and then we got Frankie to laser cut all our designs and now today we're putting them together to see if they actually work. So this week we've been working on 3D printing for STEAM and the thing that we had to work on was to do a challenge in everyday life that we could solve and our group decided to do a phone stand which you could charge from. In the STEAM project we had to make like a city to a scale of 1 to 200 and that was actually quite hard because it was very fiddly and each class or like group of classes was split into like sectors so there was like arts and culture, um, residential, schools and like medical precincts. Um, so our class had the CBD which has a lot of t tall buildings so it was a bit challenging to make them. So we had to use Arduinos, one Arduino per group to make maybe lights or something moving. So we've been doing digital technology which is where we go around and film the year sevens and eights doing their STEAM activities. And then at the end we edit it into a video. Um, one of the challenges is definitely um, trying to find new ways of like asking students um, what they like about STEAM and editing all the videos that we have to do and putting the whole video together. Learned how to use these like high like tech cameras which I never knew how to use before. We wanted to, the, to give the students the opportunity to design, create, film, edit an entire immersive experience and um, see what came out with languages. My group did in virtual reality um, an Australian ordering a vegan meal at a restaurant in France and about this we uh, made it miscommunication, um, multiple choices. And I hope we get to do something like this again. <laughs> My name is Eric Ryan, I'm the Head of Humanities here at Methodist Ladies College. In year 8 we decided to expand the STEAM program from just one overall project that we had at year 7 which was our city project and give the students more choice by offering them many different activities to choose from. All of those were based upon core ideas of teamwork, innovation, creativity. One of those activities was the use of drones. So we had an idea to um, offer a challenge to the girls to be part of a drones group. So they've learned about how drones um, are used in society, um, how drones fly, look at the programming of drones, look at drones and the ways in which they can solve problems. STEAM is the future. Um, 
we really are pushing the 21st century skills here at MLC. Um, so that the ideas around collaboration and teamwork and creativity are extremely important in all that we do here.